I read them, it's, uh, it's uh, what they call a shell mold. So it's a uh, development from the standard uh, uh, in it, uh, like the nanomite or melitomite. Uh, it's uh, more active uh, to the target uh, molecules in the myeloma cell and uh, f- uh, could be used as a follow-up treatment or a replacement uh, treatment for lenalidomide maintenance and formalidomide in the uh, more advanced disease. So ELN26 is one of the first studies uh, uh, to investigate uh, ibedomide in the frontline setting. And uh, now there are more, of course, but uh, at that time uh, we wanted to know what is the most effective and less toxic uh, dosing of uh, this uh, new agent in uh, my own phases. So at ELN26 is a maintenance uh, study in phases that have uh, undergone uh, autologous sense plan. And we compare three different dosages uh, in maintenance setting in these patients. Uh, so uh, two of these uh, uh, dose levels, so 1.3 alone, have been uh, uh, completed now and looks very favorable. Uh, toxicity is, uh, let's say, limited. Uh, but still, we are uh, continuing with a lower dose in order to uh, see whether we can obtain the same results with a lower dose. And this, this of course, will be better for the patient and also Registration authorities would uh, like that. Well, Iberdolite is now used in the MIDOS trial, which is a large uh, randomized friends uh, trial. Uh, and we also would like to uh, 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 continue with Iberdolite to study it in the frontline setting and maintenance, but also as a potential uh, challenge to data RD in the elderly patients. Um, results of data are are very good, but uh, ibedomite is a candidate to uh, uh, replace lenalidomide in that regime. I think the uh, duration of maintenance, do we have to treat the uh, patients up to uh, progression or for a shorter period of time? Does it depend on the schedule and the combination, uh, one versus uh, multiple drugs? And uh, I think we need uh, uh, extensive MRD monitoring to uh, not only uh, clinical response, but monitoring of MRD in order to see if it's better really for MRD negativity to continue treatment or can we stop like we have done in the passenger trial.